Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to create another Livewire component for edit so that we can have an edit button right here so that if we click this button, then we can be able to edit any tags that we want. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's open up your terminal. So then we're just going to do PHP artisan make Livewire. And we're going to go inside the tags folder and we're just going to call this one edit all right so let's make a component so as you can see we've got a class right now and we created a view all right so let's quickly go there under app icp live wire under tags all right so for those that have been following the series you will see that i just changed my store one just to create kind of just to keep the restfulness of the of the folder so right now I'm just going to have a create, edit, and index, and I will have a delete one in the coming episode. All right, so let's go to the edit one right here. Now this is the, our class, and this one is our view right there. Now before I do anything in here, so let me just call this one just edit for now. All right, and what I'm going to do in my index view, where I'm going to use that edit view, so let me just bring it in here. So our edit component. So what I'm going to do, I'm I have to link it right here. So LiveWire tags dot edit. But now there's an important thing we need to do because we're going to pass through the tag to the component. Okay, so we're just going to pass the tag, so we can receive this tag that we're looping over right here. And we're going to pass that to the component. But here is the important note as well. Both are important, but I just want to emphasize on this one right here. So the wire key, you can use wire key or you can just use key. Both up to you. Now, the thing is, since we're using a nested component, the reason that's why I kind of like to do this lesson right now, because if you're doing nested components, you need to understand that in order for LiveWire to keep track of everything that's happening inside this, uh, basically inside our index component, and to keep track of its children right here, it needs to have a key. Otherwise, it won't know, because all of these, let's say we're looping, let's say 20 tags, all of them is going to have probably the same identity key, and that is not the ideal situation you want to be in. Right? So what you want to do is you want to sign them a very unique key. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a wire, my key. So just for you guys to have both. All right, so just going to put, all right, so now the thing is, we could, let me just give some room here. So what we have is we've got our double quotes and then we have our single quotes. Now in our single quotes, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this one edit, all right, tag like this. Right, and then inside that, I'm just going to concatenate the tag ID, just like this. All right, now what will happen now is for every single tag, it's going to have a unique tag ID of edit tag with like edit tag one or edit tag two or edit tag three. Now, let's say we add another nested component. Now, in this case, which, which we will do is we will add the live wire tags or delete. And it's also going to have a unique key needed. So in that case, we're going to do delete tag, tag ID, and etc. etc. But I'm just going to mention this very quick because I'm going to explain to later in detail. Now, the thing is, you must understand if you're coming from Vue.js or you're coming from any other uh, JavaScript framework in LiveWire, the children components are not, I'm just emphasizing, not reactive. So if the parent component, component change the children don't react to the parents change so there's a kind of little hack that we have to do in order for the children to be reactive to the parent but i'm going to explain that to a little bit more detail when we get to that part okay so for now just bear with me the little hack that we have is just we can add just a now timestamp to force the child to be reactive to the parent. If you don't understand that, you will understand a little bit later. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this one 
edit button. Okay, so for now, let me just delete this one. All right, so now this is basically the edit button that we have right there. So just edit. So I just need to see that edit. Okay, so let's quickly see. All right, so as you can see, we got our edit button right there. Another thing I just want to show you, I just quickly want to show you the documentation. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys this. If you go to nested components under the documentation, if you want to go and read more about that, just read this part right here. Nested components can accept data parameters from their parents, which we have just done right now. We pass through the tag to the child component. However, they are not the active lock props from a view component. Okay, very important. You will see when we cook progress that they actually are not the reactive. So what we have just read right now, We've passed this data from the parent component to this child component. All right. So whenever this child, this parent component updates regarding the tag, the child right here will not be reactive to the change of that tag. But anyways, we will get there. I, I don't want to hammer it to death. I will get there in a second. All right. So let's go on. So now we need to update our class. Let's go to our edit class right here. Okay, now there's a couple of things I want to do. So you must also remember if we have a form in here, which we're going to get to, but let's, uh, let's not jump ahead. Okay, let's go to our edit class right here. Just remember we're passing, let's just open. All right, so now we need to receive this tag. So let's quickly go there. So in the first thing, we're going to create a public property and we call this one tag right here. All right, so that's the first one. The next thing is we want to create a modal as well. So if the person clicks that button, they need to get a modal popping up to allow them to edit the tags. Okay, that's the next thing. So we're going to do an open modal. And we're going to set that by default to be false, which makes sense. Otherwise, every tag will have an open modal. And that will not be nice. The next thing is public function, uh, public method property actually we want to call this one a form id you will understand so if let's quickly let me just quickly show you where this is coming from so if we go to our create because we're going to create a form to actually submit this tag to the component All right so let's quickly go to this one right here now if we have a form right here and we click this button right here okay so right now we don't need to give an id to this form right here because this form id and this button is only one of them but now remember in our edit view this one right here every single button will have a unique form and we don't want to use basically just the one id for that form so we want every form to have a unique id so when we click the button it will actually correspond to the right one but you will understand in a second okay so that's the form id right there now what i want to do is I want the mount method, so this just treat this as a constructor, okay? So I just want to give the form ID a unique ID of the tag. So I'm just going to say this uh, form ID, right? The form ID, I'm going to equal that to the tag ID, like this, okay? So that's the first thing. So we just mount that tag that we receive from the component itself, so from the component right here the one that we're passing through to this view to this component actually we're just going to get their tag id to assign it to that form id but you will understand right so let's quickly move on to the next part all right we need to create rules so what we're going to do is we're going to do a protected rules okay so the rules and that's going to equal to just we're going to we're going to deal with just the tag name so just remember, we're passing in the tag right here. So what I want to do, the tag name is going to equal to, it must be required, all right? And then it must be unique, string, all right? The tag name must be unique, and it must be a max of 10. All right, so let's move on. The next part right here is for the real-time validation, if you guys remember from the from when we create the tag, right? So public function, this one is going to be updated and we're just going to listen for the property. property like this. And then we're just going to this validate only. 
So for real-time validation, and we're just passing the property like that. Okay, so now that's for the real-time validation. Right, let's move on. Now this one is going to be to basically open the model or close the model. Okay, so let's just quickly public function, and we're just going to do an open model uh, to update tag. All right, and then we're just going to set reset the error back. So this reset error back this one right here and the next one is this we're just going to set this dot open modal and we're just going to set it to true so this will basically open the modal of that we by default we set false and here we just open it all right so let's quickly create another method in here this is going to be actually responsible for actually updating the tag so the tag that we receive so this tag all right, that we receive from right here. Okay, so that tag. All right, we want to call an update method on it. So update. All right, and then we just want to pass in a couple of things in here. And the only one that we're doing right now is the name. And we just want to say to this tag name. Just like that. All right. What I will do, I'm not going to add any flash anything like that since we installed sweet alert so i want to i want to deal with that in the next episode so where we i'm not going to dispatch it from here right now i'm going to do that in its own episode all right so i'm just going to set right for now to this reset because i feel like there's a lot that i will have to explain uh, to kind of make more sense otherwise i'm going to rush through it and you guys will run into little bit of things that you guys not quite understand and i don't want that to happen i kind of want to make things to make sense for you guys all right so all right so now we finish with our class for now we, the next part we're going to dispatch it because there's two ways we can do this uh for sweet alert we can either send a, this browser let's just quickly let me show you the two all right so we can uh, dispatch an event or we can this emit an event all right they're both ways we can use for sweet alert all right but i want to explain that's why i want to kind of dedicate that to its own episode so that we can learn quite a number of things from it all right so then we reset that all right so let's quickly go to our tags edit view this one right here this one is actually responsible for having the form and everything and communicating with our component right there all right now what we can do is let's go to our create one just to make it easy for us let's copy everything inside your create or if you have the other one if you didn't ch uh, change your name your previous name was store just copy all the things in the store right there and just paste them in your edit view like this all right so let's quickly make a couple of changes in here all right to check the error now the only change we need to make this doesn't mustn't be just a name so we must actually include the tag name like that okay because of the tag parameter that we're passing through all right so this instead of a create tag this needs to be edit tag just like that all right and this needs to be i'm just going to make this yellow just like this all right so when we click this button open model to update tag not create tag so, so we're just going to call that update one so let's go in here you will see i'm calling on this update model to update tag open model to update tag that one right there okay so the alert message will disappear i'm not going to make use of the alert message okay actually what i want to do i want to use blade ui kit icons instead of the edit tag but for now let's leave it like that Right, so we've got an open modal. So this is basically, if we click this button, this needs to be set to true, and it will open this right here. Now, as the title stands right there, I'm just going to call this one update tag. Like this. Okay, so I'm just going to put update actually there. All right, let's move on. The next part is quite important. The next, this part right here. The update this needs to correspond to the method this method right here that's responsible to update the tag so we need to change this to update all right this id for the submit form just remember because we don't have the button just for those that are new please bear with me all right for those if the button is not inside the form 
we give it a unique ID to correspond to the outside button. Right, because in that button we have a form and we correspond that name right there to the name of the form right there. Okay, so that's why we want to give every form a unique ID. If you don't want to do this, you just add a button or submit button between the form tag right there. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Now, the thing is, I want to give this one a name of update form. Okay, so otherwise, it's going to look for that. All right, and we're going to just add that form ID okay so uh, this form ID just to kind of give it a unique name because remember the form ID I set it to the tag ID of the passing parameter that we receive from the parent component okay so the form ID right there okay let's move on the next thing is everything stays the same in here except now we don't get the name we're getting the tag dot name Okay, so let's just change the name. Let me just copy this part right here. Um, let me just do it actually like this. So we're just going to put tag dot notation. So tag dot like this. And the error is tag dot like that. All right, so just make sure you change them from tag dot because we, we actually do a right model. So we're just getting the tag right here. And as you can see, we validate the tag dot name like that. Okay, so that's the first part. Now let's move on. The footer, everything still stays the same because remember we're using the same property that we're toggling right here. So that one right there, okay? So that is the never mind. Now the other thing, since we're doing the form submit right here, we need to change that to be correspond to this name right there. So I can copy everything in there and paste it in here. And that will be for like having the same same name so if i click this button it will correspond to this form right there now the thing is this wired target and we want to target the update like that all right awesome stuff all right like i said i want to handle the emitting of the event for the update event in the next episode but I, what, what what i do want to do in here is i want to add an add push for the scripts so that I don't have to do that in the next episode all right because what we're going to do we're going to listen for the, either the emit event or the dispatch event right here okay so let's quickly go to our layout view so under resources views layouts right here and I'm using the guest layout I added the add stack scripts just make sure it's underneath your live wire scripts just like that okay not above it okay so let's just do it like that right so now in the next episode what we're going to be doing is if we actually put any scripts and listen for because we're going to dispatch the sweet alert from here all right anyways let's quickly see if we can get this button and this model to work Right, so let's click this button. Right, so as you can see, it popped up the modal with the details in there. Right, so anyways, that's an end of this episode. What we're going to do in the next episode, we need to add our sweet alert. And there's kind of a couple of things I want to show you guys right there. Right, thank you guys for watching. And sorry that it's a little bit of a longer episode, but I really wanted to explain a little bit more in there. So if you guys want to skip through the video, all good. But for those that want to learn something, they can learn it in there. Otherwise, I'm just being skimpy. All right, thank you guys. Like the video, comment, feedback, suggestions for me in the comment section. And see you guys in the next one. Adios.